But he cannot deny the thrill of creation. Death's firstborn, he named her Gethsemane. He crowned her as queen of the dead, to rise, to conquer, and to rule. Now, she takes the souls that death values most, twists and shapes them to assemble his court and build his <laughs> army. Hello folks, Denobi Tui here, and thank you for joining me once again on another visual tour. On this episode, we are going to be unboxing Gethsemane, part of the Court of the Dead, Sideshow's very own IP, partnered up with a TB League. Hey, you know what? I know a little bit about TV League, formerly known as Fison. This will be my second uh, character from Court of the Dead. First one being uh, here, Valkyrie of the Dead. This is Gethsemane, the Dead Queen. The Queen shall rise and take her place in my collection. Nice package. This was uh, a buck, a buck seventy. 170 bucks and I love I love when TB League partners up partners up with uh, Sideshow because you get a lot of bang for your buck uh, you get a nice box uh, artwork deco uh, you kind of see the artwork on there look at that uh, boss in there that is the hip crown for the Queen Love it. I love it. I love that TB League is partnering up with uh, with Sideshow and uh, kind of helping them explore their potential because TB League just is... I've seen them grow. I've seen them grow throughout the years and the fact that uh, that they're evolving. Oh, that's Kier. If you guys were wondering, uh, the first one. Kier, the Valkyrie of the Dead. Uh, she's a little bit busy right now. Uh, she's a assistant in a... Uh, sacrifice uh, anyway let's get back over here <laughs> uh, this is cool I love it I love the whole court of the dead uh, IP the whole expanded mythos uh, Sideshow has released a book on it if you want to go deeper into the world uh, the opening of this video was a animated comic based on Gethsemane uh, showing oh instructions here uh, over 30 points of articulate there's plenty of articulated points on this kind of uh, let you know please uh, don't don't be rough with the actual body so Court of the Dead again the side shows uh, IP and they start they launched off I want to say five or six years ago with their statues and uh, and they're just they're continuing they're just expanded more on uh, on the actual products since they started off with statues and now they're in the one six scale and it is nice it is nice look at that Love it. I love the whole foam presentation. I love that for less than 200 bucks, you're getting a experience worth the money. Look at that sculpt. Look at that. I mean, it's incredible. Now, I get it. I mean, since it is based off of a conceptual art, meaning it's not based off of a human being, an actual actress. Nonetheless, though, that's still very impressive as far as the, uh, the sculpt and the look and uh, the, the paint application. Again, going off of the Hot Toys model, something like this would probably would reach out for 230 with a fraction of the accessories that you're going to get with this particular figure. Let's get the body out. Let's go ahead and uh, inspect it. And I did uh, I did toy around with some of the uh, with, with the light and then the actual filters because I wanted to try to capture the best uh, skin tone. Look at that. Uh, the actual color of the skin tone uh, that is a phenomenal tattoo on on the body I mean the fact that they're able to uh, get that look at that boy they are really mastering the art of silicone aren't they that's incredible that is incredible one of the biggest challenges with a silicone body is uh, is paint you got to know how to apply it and 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 because it's it's a porous material, if you use certain fabrics, it can it can be absorbed. Now I am curious about this. Uh, that is a and the instructions that it is a steel bikini. It is loose fitting, so if you're not careful, it will just pop right off. But uh, it's a two-piece steel bikini. It I, I 
it doesn't seem to scrape the actual tattoo, so it is pretty much embedded on there. If you're curious, uh, there is no definite, well, actually the, it is molded on there, so they are using an existing TV League body. Uh, no color has been added on to the front chest, but uh, we can take care of that. That's, uh, let's continue here. That the uh, steel bikini with the uh, red jewels in the back. Uh, thigh bracelet. Look at the detail on that. That's incredible. That's I, This is all hand painted. That's just mind blowing. Thigh bracelet. All right, let's uh, let's jump over to the accessories here really quick. That is a wood, a wood knife. Look at that. A wood dagger, not wood dagger. What? What am I? That's clearly made out of a skeletal uh, a femur there. Skeletal uh, dagger. Ew. <laughs> uh, jewelry, body jewelry here. I want to say that is the arm bracelet, and that is a wrist bracelet. Yeah, wrist, and then the arm bracelet. And the, you know, love, I love this clever design, the fact that they give you the jewelry to help uh, hide the seams to the actual body, which gives it that more realism. I'm blown away with the, uh, the paint application on these hands. I mean, that's incredible. That's not, that, that's not printed. That's somebody with a micro paintbrush went in and dabbed these colors on these hands. Look at that. That's incredible. Again, incredible for the price point. God, I wish Hot Toys can kind of go back to this type of level of, of detail. Uh, the heel feet there, which I'll be uh, swapping out. I think it'll be more seductive as the uh, the dead queen to be on her, uh, on her heels. And more arm jewelry. And these are for the ankle. And this is important because that'll help sell the illusion of realism because it'll hide the seams where you uh, attach the feet to the actual ball jointed body. And look at that. And that is a wrist clamp. And then that is a arm bracelet. Let's take a look at that. Yeah. That's awesome. That is just awesome. Let's look underneath. Great thing with uh, TB League that it's always a second level or second floor underneath you'll find uh oh look at that the skirt the the details say it includes a uh, skirt a uh, waist skirt more like a ceremonial garb type skirt that is a the neck the neck crown or the neck armor that's not the crown that would be the neck armor and then that's the other peg which will be attached into the base and I'm just blown away by the detail on this uh, on this blanket. No, well, it's not a blanket. It's a skirt. It says a skirt. But it is nice, though. Look at that. And there is a bendy wire on it, so it will give you uh, certain points of articulation. It makes it a lot easier to, to wrap around. And these are the feet. You can kind of... Up, I will be swapping out the feet, and it's just mind blowing to me the, the fact that uh, they're able to get this amount of detail on there. Now, I am supposed to put the neck armor first, but I, I do want to see what she looks like without it. I do want to show you because I, th I think it, she's more seductive without it. Now, uh, this video is not meant for kids, so this is a strictly an adult product. So be warned, uh, her front chest was uh, improved, and uh, just put it on there. You can kind of see that if you use the right type of paint, you can actually achieve a sense of realism with a TB League body. Now the secret is acrylic paint. Acrylic paint will not damage the silicone body. Um, with trial and error with, uh, with previous other figures in my collection, uh, you can definitely achieve a sense of realism if you decide to. I won't be posing her without her bikini armor on, but if you decide to, uh, the option is presented to you right there. So it is acrylic uh, paint, that is brown paint, that has been applied, and uh, it will not damage the body. 
Now, this bikini here, if you were wondering, like I was too, uh, acts more like a chastity belt. This thing is welded onto her body. So this thing is not coming out unless you break it off. So if in case you're wondering, it's like, well, maybe he'll show you. Well, no, it's, this thing is, is on there tight. It's not going anywhere. So, but still, phenomenal design. The fact that they were able to kind of slip it on there. And let's start attaching her jewelry. And I'll show you uh, how the illusion is sold with the... Uh, with the body jewelry. Now you want to be careful with the little steel peg on her arm right there. Just a little bit of pressure. I have damaged these before in previous bodies if you're not careful on how you uh, pull on that. I like the spots, the little, uh, I'm assuming it's more of a body art, not more of a like a birthmark, so more like a ceremonial, those little spots that are on her. She was brought back to life by her uh, demon king. That does look great, though. You can see it uh, slips on there. And then you want to be careful with the, uh, the hand. Apply some pressure to it without uh, damaging uh, the actual jewelry. And it pops on. You just want to take your time. But that is right there. Clever there. Nope, that is wrong. That uh, the teeth should be actually pointing down and adjusting accordingly. A little bit of pressure, and it stays on. It's, it stays on with tension, so it's not going anywhere. Add the uh, the hand or the actual wrist, and pops right in. Yeah, that'll work. Add the hand. Let's get the the feet out, and same thing with the feet. Make sure you have the jewelry. Add a little, uh, apply some pressure, pops right off. And you want to, it's not so much the, uh, the stainless steel ball joint, it's more of the feet. If you do want to put the feet in there, it is, but the actual jewelry, then it sells it in. Gethsemane, death's first creation. The spirit born Gethsemane was fashioned from raw flesh. Her mind coalesced from the collective subconscious of humanity. And as such, her form echoes the expectations of the living. Beautiful and flawless to behold, this resident of the shadow realm glimmers like a jewel in the darkness. But be warned, the queen of the dead's countenance is naught but a distraction. Her mercurial mood and unfettered ambitions make her a dangerous and volatile player in death's court and leader of the faction of flesh. The queen of the dead serves a dual purpose within the court. As regent, she rules in death's stead during her master's long absences. Most denizens of the underworld would be satiated with that degree of authority, but not so with death's firstborn. As the reigning governor of the faction of flesh, Gethsemane holds a level of power and influence unrivaled by any other faction. For the queen's touch can be seen in most every creation of the underworld and of those creations that turn to the faction of flesh, there can be no doubt of their loyalty, for it is absolute and unwavering. And let's continue the unboxing. Let's look at that, uh, that foam insert uh, that came in in the original box. There should be a lot more uh, good stuff. This is where we're gonna find the base, uh, the crown, some of the good, uh, some of the good tchotchkes little things. So look at this, this is a hip, bone crown it's kind of creepy isn't it I uh, <laughs> yeah I just when you look at it really carefully it's uh, it's it is impressive I mean the amount of uh, attention to detail that that went into this I mean this is this is her look the look of Gethsemane is the whole crown Ew. <laughs> uh, there's a little couple little demons on here Look at these guys, and then the base. I love it. I love the amount of work that they put 
into the actual base for the whole core of the deck. Because, I mean, that's since the actual IP did start with statues on these elaborate bases, it would make sense that if you're going to... Oh, that's the yeah, peg hole for the arm. Uh, it would make sense that if you're going to... Uh, replicated in the one six scale that the bases should be just as grand or even grandiose than the actual larger counterparts but uh, it's there I mean that's just wow great detail her little demon uh, dogs too are, are pretty uh, or I guess like a soul like a dead soul Ooh, that's that's pretty it's pretty impressive <laughs> If you think about it, yeah, uh, that's that's awesome. Look at that. You kind of see it's in pain and agony. Wow, mind blowing. And then the other one, a little creep. <laughs> wow, the weathering on that is pretty. Whoa, did they did they add something on to? No. Sometimes the yard is like to hide extra stuff yeah I don't think that's that's more of the uh, the poop I'm thinking that's that's his butthole <laughs> uh, these little demon dog lost souls are clearly there for Gethsemane in case uh, she would to I don't know she would trip and fall so her little lost uh, soul creatures would be there to um, help her out you know help her back up clearly right uh, Let's get back to the base here. Let's go in and attach this. And uh, I did not get this. This this type of uh, technology where the actual armature arm uh, attaches to the base, we didn't get that with Kier. So they must have uh, uh, heard somebody complaining or, or moaning about it because it doesn't make sense that you would have this beautiful elaborate base and not have some way to attach a arm to it, a waist arm to it. and. Once it's all said and done and you add the skirt and she's holding it and she's casting her spell and she's absorbing your life energy, it's pretty it's pretty damn impressive. Love it. Yeah, I'm kind of blown away by it. They really did a good job on this. Really, really did a good job on this. All that's left is to, uh, wow, it's just to crown her uh, the dead queen. Gethsemane, take your place at my side. And charter the lost souls across the river. Sticks. Yeah, she's badass. She's cool. Very, very happy. Uh, if Sideshow uh, and TV League, they keep continuing releasing characters based off of the Court of the Dead, I, I'm in. 100% I'm in. Love it. Love it, love it for what you're getting, the look, uh, the price. Yeah. Very, very awesome. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, like, subscribe, leave your comments below. And uh, as always, thanks for watching.